Well, the same thing goes for the 95% case. We're going to use this table over here. Now we'll use this column, the 95% column, go down to the row that's a T distribution with infinite degrees of freedom. In other words, that's the normal distribution. And we find that the z-score is 1.96. So in this case, the z-score is 1.96. We just plug in the confidence interval, x-bar minus z standard error, x-bar plus z standard error, and we find that the confidence interval for 95% confidence is this. So we can be 95% sure that the mean house price is in this range. So far, we've calculated three confidence intervals, one for 68% confidence, 95% and 99%. And look what happens to these intervals as they get bigger, as the confidence level gets bigger and bigger. We find that the interval is also getting bigger and bigger as well. So when we only needed to be 68% sure, the confidence interval was, uh, had a size of, th of 6,000. So it's going from 347 to 353. As we increase our confidence, this interval is getting bigger and bigger. And that's because the z-score that we use for different levels of confidence is going to increase when the confidence level increases. So if we want to be more and more confident, if we want to have a higher and higher confidence level, then we're going to have a bigger and bigger confidence interval. What else affects the size of our interval? other than the given confidence level. So, for a given confidence level, the thing that's affecting our, our, our confidence interval is the standard error of the mean. We know that the standard error of the mean is equal to s over root n. So in order to have a smaller confidence interval, we need to have a smaller standard error of the mean. And to have a smaller standard error of the mean, one way to do that is to increase our sample size. See, if n increases, then the fraction of s over root n is going to decrease. So the standard error of the mean is going to decrease. In which case, if we have a bigger sample size, all else being equal, we're going to have a smaller confidence interval for any given confidence level.